hello guys it's your boy my lot shorts on this one again we have this beautiful image so um, i've already done my retouching and um liquify so i just want you to color grade um and you know filter this image with me let's get started so my image is open in photoshop so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a stamp visible layer Control shift alternate e and i'm going to go ahead and select subject let's see if it's going to do a good selection if it doesn't then we'll look for another selection option so it actually did i don't like this workspace this is not what i'm used to so i'll go to workspace i think um my lot himself yeah this is my kind of workspace i love everything coming here so i'll go ahead and pick my lasso two come here holding on subtract button come here then I'll come here all right I'll come here okay um we're almost done with this all right I'll subtract from here select my polygonal lasso tool just to give this a better um, selection because I don't think I I love the way it's looking it's not looking that cool so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll come here This is almost the same <laughs> as using the pen too, but I'm done. So I'll go ahead and hit. I'll go ahead and um, hit the mask button, then open up my properties, my mask properties, and let's see what we're gonna do here. Um, smooth. Let's play with the settings zoom out a bit this is um, called the refined edge brush that's a refined edge brush I'll come here select more select more from here I'll zoom out and then um, when I'm done I'll hit ok it's a new layer with mask this is the old layer so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this now let's see what I've got here let me check something 
Okay. All right. I just wanted to see what I've got here. Okay. Now I'm gonna take care of this. Those um fringes on the body. So I'm gonna come here. Select my. Select my smudge two select my smudge two i actually did the hue and saturation adjustment layer then i brought the saturation back all the way and then subtracted the lightness that was how i was able to get dark dark that, um that's dark effect so you don't get confused okay this is the smudge two i'm working on the layer mask i'm trying to take in some of those white fringes uh body so if i'm done with that i'm going to turn this off then I'll, i'm going to create another stamp visible layer because I want to work on the background, so I'm I'm turning that off. Control Shift Alternate E. Then I'll select this layer and delete the background layer. Okay. Control D to deselect. I'll delete the background layer, and then I'll pick my. I'll go to blow filter convert for smart filter blow Gaussian blow let me blow out the background because I I want to I want to make this I want to keep that as neat as possible let's hit OK and mind you if I turn this on my original image is going to show up so you don't have any need to you know to worry then you can actually bring back um this um light details if you want okay let's see if we can bring it back let's create a mask and then pick a brush zoom in and then dab so as you can see we we were able to bring it back okay now i'm going to pick my i'm going to pick my brush my mixer brush i'll pick my mixer brush create an empty layer and then carefully mix this area that has been mixed because I missed this area so I'm carefully gonna mix this make sure you sample all layer and you know make sure you sample all layer and then mix carefully mix gently So let's zoom out and see what we are missing. Let's zoom out. If I'm done, I'll turn on my layer again. I have everything back. So as you can see, the everything is looking nice and um, beautiful now if i want if i choose to i can now turn on this layer okay if i choose to i can now turn on this layer if i feel like it's too much i can reduce the opacity of this i can reduce the opacity of sorry the black and white this so i can actually have something like this now what i want to do is what I want to do is I want to um 
I want to kind of um, bring the brightness level of this area down. So I'll go to my curves, select my curves, bring this down all the way here because I want I really want this area to be you know very dark all the way here. Then go to my brush, make my brush hard. You know, get the exact space, um, the exact circle, something like this, and then hit once. All right. So I have something like this. I can actually control T to you know zoom in to fit the original um, circle. All right. So I can actually do it this way if I choose to. Now. If I want to color grade this image now, this is the, um, this is, you know, what we have before we were able to come up with this. So if I want to go ahead and um, um, color grade this image, I can actually decide to do anything I want here. I can bring, I can go to this um, selective colors and try to you know push up. The colors to anything I want. I can actually decide to push it towards the magenta or anything. I can actually decide to, you know, push it towards the blues or towards the yellows, whatever thing I feel like I want to do. I can actually decide to do this, you know, do different things and try different things. So everything depends on you and what you're willing to, you know, try. So I'll leave it this way. I'll go ahead and um, create um, a selective color adjustment layer on top and then go to my yellow push up the reds in the yellow push up the yellow in the yellow the whites um, if I'm if I'm subtracting from the black it means I'm adding white so that means I'll be having a fair F, um, a lighter skin tone so this is how I you know this is how I pull this sliders this is how I pull these sliders so if I want more colors of the red I can actually push to towards that end so this is how I pull this sliders now the next thing I I'm actually done with this image probably the next thing I need to do is you know add a little bit of light dodge let me let's start with you know dodging the legs a bit you know so i'll come here create a point create a point here create my point all right i'm holding on shift just in case if you want to make a straight line you hold on shift and then go to the other point and drop that's how you make a straight line so I can actually come here and then go to blur Gaussian blur and build it up little by little okay so I, this is a before this is after I've been able to you know add a little bit of dodge on on that area which um, makes it look um, very perfect and um, nice so that's um we've practically done everything now the next thing I want to do is the yellow, the flower. I want to turn everything red. So I'll go to here and saturation. Come here. Come here. Select the yellows. Take this all the way up. Take this all the way. Now let's move the sliders so we can select all the yellows. Okay. All the yellows. Then let's change the colors of the yellow. Bring this down.
okay we are trying to target you know um we we're trying to achieve some sort of a, a red color there all right okay we are okay with this i'm going to invert the mask Control i to invert the mask pick a brush and then make sure my flow my um, hardness is not too much and then paint into the yellows to review the color that i need now another color i'm going to target is my let me pick my hue and saturation come here target those colors that are red and then try as much as possible to push them and select everything let's move all ahead and then let's subtract wait okay yes all right let's say we've been able to subtract this now this is what we are looking for okay we'll come here push this back push this back and then let's target the colors to to give us more red now you just have to take your time to find the harmony between the colors so if you think you found it, control I, then pick a brush and paint. So the next thing we're going to do is now we've been able to, you know, add, desaturate the yellows and also the red we've added a little bit of more colors here let me open it up again and check the reds let's see if we really have that reddish okay yeah i think that's the harmony point there so that's where we are supposed to leave that now let's fine tune the yellow more remember this is the yellow let's fine tune it more we'll open up that yellow channel maybe we should bring the, the lightness down a bit then increase the saturation a bit to match up okay now we've been able to match the both of them if you look at this place it's not touching so we can actually select this plus two and click on this place to add we can actually bring excuse me okay so we've been able to match the both of them so the only place we have issues is here let's just do it manually let's pick a curves adjustment layer bring down the brightness then invert and paint in to darken this now let's go to another hue and saturation pick that slider click on this area to see what it gives us so i think it's red it's actually giving us red so let's delete this let's go to the yellow channel let's see if we desaturate the yellows it's going to affect so but if we pull up the saturation of the yellows you see what it gives us so we can actually use this to make a selection of of that area so let's push that place down select the eyedropper add to that and then bring this back and then let's try and fine tune that area so we can get our pure red from there so this is our red invert pick a brush and then paint in into that area 
and then go to your hue and saturation open it then bring the lightness down a bit we've been able to fine-tune that um, part of the flower to you know give us the red um, red art look we love so I think we've pretty much we are pretty much done on this with this image we've actually done almost everything let's say maybe we want to add some textures to the floor I'll go ahead and open my stock images and um, see what I can add to the floor mm. um. let me check from here so let's say I want to add some textures to that background I can actually can actually pick something like this okay I can pick something like this and then hit OK bring it at the back of my subject and then zoom in to transform T to transform then keep it here then duplicate ctrl J ctrl T bring it down zoom out hold on ctrl drag this all the way here hold on ctrl drag this all the way here to create a perspective of the floor then match it with this let's zoom in We'll match it with this somewhere here and then we hit ok control zero then let's change the blend mode of this to let's see what multiply will give us multiply is not so bad let's see what overlay will do soft light let's go with overlay then let's change this one also to overlay so we've been able to you know add some texture if you feel like you're losing details you can go ahead and turn off this layer that we use on cleaning the backdrop you see that layer we use in cleaning the backdrop when you turn it off it shows you some original textures you know from this image so you can go ahead and clean off that um area you see this this is it so you can go ahead and turn it off you know turn off this layer then it means you're gonna have original texture from the image now maybe we can actually you know there's nothing again to 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 do on this image we've practically added everything we need to add so if you want to blur the background you can go ahead and add a little bit of blur to the back background that's if you want to you can add a little bit of blur like this but if you want to keep the details is okay but maybe we add a little bit of blur to this background I think it's fine like this so we can add this control 0 control T let's transform this and then make it wider because I think it's leaving my frame okay hit ok so I think I'm okay with this now if you feel like you want to get um, creative with the color grading you can come to um, color balance and then play with your midtones you know your your shadows your midtones your highlights so you can actually you know come on and play around this if you want to add a bit of red to the midtones you want to add magenta if you want to add you know it, the workflow is all yours you can actually you can actually decide to be a bit creative with all of this so you can come to the shadows and then play around the shadows maybe you want to add red or you want to brighten it up you you want to do something like this push towards the magenta or push towards the green I mean it's all yours the workflow is all yours if you want to do this also you can so I think I love something like this 
I'll have something like this. So I'm going to hit OK. Let me increase the brightness of my screen a bit. So this is what we've done. We've done a pretty nice job. Then let's go ahead and do a little bit of dodging and burning. So we can come here. We can come here. Um, burn. Zoom in. I think um, I lost a bit focus when I shot this image. Uh, So you can go ahead and yes, then bring this opacity down. Then if you want to change the lips, let's go to solid color. Red. Change the blend mode to soft light. Come here, select the mask control I to invert. Then pick a brush. hit ok so we've been able to change the lips you see that so you can actually decrease the opacity if you want now the image is looking way way beautiful you can go ahead to select your image you can go ahead to select your image and then dodge up a bit make sure your flow is low i'm using like six so i can just quickly you know dodge up these areas and quickly dodge up okay there's something on her face and we have to take care of it This is before this is the after then we can go to the retouch academy click on the bone then burn this area burn this area hit ok so let's see what we've been able to achieve from I don't need this um, background clean up again because I already changed the background so I'm just going to delete it because I really don't need this I have no need for it so if I make a group of this control G and then click on this this is what we've been able to achieve I think I left these two behind I left this hue and saturation behind because I used it to work on the background so I'm going to just delete it Wow let me see wow delete <laughs> control z well not too not bad they actually they actually make sense they actually make sense so if i this is the before this is the after this is the before this is the after the before the after the before the after before after so everything depends on you you know on how you want to edit your image maybe one last thing i can actually do is come to selective colors and pop no i'm not going to do that i don't want to add so much red to it to the image so what i'm going to do is i'll go to the yellows to pop up the lightness a bit yes let me pop up the lightness of the yellows the whites in the yellows so let's see the before before after yeah i think i'm okay with that i'm okay with that so guys at this point at this juncture we've been able to creatively edit this image as you can see so it's looking 
way way more beautiful than it was before this is the before and um this is the after the before the after so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and um if you have any questions you want to ask me go ahead and um, ask me those questions as you can see this um you can actually you can literally use anything to add textures to your image so i just added a little bit of texture so someone would actually think that this image was shot on a canvas but it was not the only thing the secret is just adding your canvas layer and then changing the blend mode to you know um what um soft light or overlay depending on the one that works for you best so if you've stayed this long it means you've got we've gotten to the end of this tutorial and i would love you to lo like the channel subscribe tag your friends on my instagram to come and you know have a, a bite of this our amazing magic that we've been creating ever since okay so you guys are welcome i'll see you guys on the next one peace thank you don't forget to subscribe